Hi guys, this is Andrea with Northern Whimsy Art Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to get started on your mosaic kit of the um, mountain bear. Um, with your kit you're going to receive several items. You should have four different cups of glass. Um, three of the cups will be the colors for your mountains and one for your sky with your moon. You're going to have a little cup with your um, weld bond glue and a popsicle stick as well as your base. You're also going to receive in your kit um, a little cup with powder in it. This is your grout um, you're, and you're going to have some rubber gloves to wear when you do your grouting and also uh, another popsicle stick for mixing that. You'll also need a little cup but we'll get that in the next video for the grouting portion of this. In this video we're going to focus on getting our um, our mosaic pieces placed and glued on and then you'll need to wait overnight to do the grouting portion of this. You'll also need a pencil, but that is not included in your kit. You'll provide your own pencil. So with this project, I want to talk a little bit about safety. Um, when you're working on mosaic, uh, the, you're gonna be using glass pieces and obviously glass pieces are sharp. And in here are some little glass shards. So I recommend working on a piece of paper or something that you can dump after you're done. Um, there will be glass shards. Don't use your hand and wipe the table because those glass shards will get in your hand from that. Just be very conscious and that's why this kit is recommended for ages 12 and older. So just keep that in mind. I would set your, uh, set your glue aside for just a minute. Don't open it up yet, leave it closed just so that it stays, it stays wet. Um, what I start with is my moon on these projects. And uh, this is the moon that I have provided but something that is really fun with these projects is to take something personal of yours and add it into there. So if you have a button, um, if you have an old necklace, if you have any sort of metal, um, plastic, um, anything that is water resistant that you can put in here, you're welcome to, to customize this piece and make it your own. You don't have to necessarily use just the one that is provided here. So just keep that in mind. Um, so when I get started, I place my moon where I think I want it. I can either do it here in the back or I can do it here in the front. But I think with this one, I'm going to go right back here. Um, and, and place that moon in the back. And the next thing is I want to think about my mountain height. So I'm going to stay below my moon here and then just kind of think about it. So with these mountains, it's just going to be triangles. So I kind of think about where I want to put the tops of my mountains. So I'll just draw a little dot where I think I want the tops of my mountains to be. And so I want a top of one here and the top of one here and one more to be just a little bit below that. So those are gonna be the, the tips of my mountains. So then I just kind of take some lines and I think I want this mountain to be in the front. So I'm gonna draw its line down all the way. And then I'm gonna take this one down to meet this. And these are just straight lines. You could also do curved lines if you want to, but I'm on this one, I'm just gonna go with the, with the straight lines. And I'm gonna put this mountain in the front. So I'm gonna take it all the way down and give it kind of a wider wider look and then just bring this one down here. And you can make your mountains look however you want to. They don't have to be anything like this. That's the that's the fun part of it. Okay, so I have my mountain lines in there now. So then I wanna open up my glass and decide which color I'm gonna put where. So I have blue, a turquoise, and a purple on this one. And the glass, in your kits may not be exactly the same. There may be green. It just kind of depends on what I have. If you have requests, you're welcome to put those in your comments when you go ahead and order. If you have um, specific colors you want, I can't guarantee you those colors. It just depends on what I have in stock, but um, you can put requests and I'll definitely try to, try to accommodate on those. So on this one, I think I'm gonna start with the purple on the, on the back side here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this glass and pour it into my hand and then just kind of set some out so I can kind of see the shapes of what I'm working with. I'm gonna open up my glue now and I have my popsicle stick and I'm just gonna take some of this glue and I'm gonna fill in just a little bit of my, of my mountain. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I, I need to be able to work all of this space. So it depends on how fast I work, but I'm just gonna cover this little back portion here to get started. And then I'm gonna take my glass and I'm gonna look at the shape that I'm working on here. So I'm gonna take a piece with a little bit of a curve to it because he's kind of got a curve there at the back. 
and I'm going to start at the edge and I'm going to place that piece. I put just enough glue that the glass kind of sinks into it, but not so much that it comes up and touches the top of the glass. And I'm going to just create my edges here as I go around. I'm also leaving space in between on these pieces. I'm not putting them right up against each other because we're going to grout these pieces and we want to be able to, um, we want to be able to have that grout, those grout lines show in this and just really define our glass pieces. So I'm just working my way around on this and putting, putting glass pieces in where they, where I feel like they fit best. And you're just going to find that you pick and choose pieces like a puzzle piece and place them in. Um, some people like to place all their glass first and then go back and glue. This creates a challenge because it's really hard to get all your glass pieces back to where you originally had them. That one doesn't quite fit there, so I'm gonna move him. And the nice thing about this glue is it doesn't dry really fast, so you have some time to move things around and play with it. Normally when I'm doing mosaics or when I teach lessons in the studio, we have nippers available to us, um, the glass tool to help cut this glass. But because I'm sending this kits out, I made these pieces smaller. So you should be able to find pieces that fit pretty well within your, within your form. You want to keep your pieces inside of your base the best you can. So I'm just working my way around and placing pieces in. There's a few more pieces out here to work with. So our bases are ordered from a company in North Pole, um, Arctic Design Co. Um, and so I'll be getting some more designs from them in the upcoming weeks and try to get a few more options out for everybody. This is just the first one that I have that I have offered. So I'm just working my way around and putting them in here. And I'll go ahead and get that mountain filled in. It takes a little time to find the, the perfect pieces to put in here. I'm gonna fill in a little more glue as I'm working. So I'm creating that tip there and putting those triangles together to create the top of that mountain and then working down this edge. So I'll continue working my way around this mountain until it's totally filled in. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and do the next mountain and the next mountain. So, but I'll work in little, in little sections as I go and keep placing this glass in here. Um, I'll go ahead and get those complete and then come back with the video. Okay, so I have the three mountains complete, the purple, the turquoise, and the blue. And then I started up here on the sky. And so I'm doing the same process up here on the sky um, other than I placed my moon in here. And this is, this is the time to, if you wanted to use a different um, brooch or button or any other item up here in the moon, um, this is the time to add it. And really you can add other pieces. If you have other little pieces of jewelry or buttons that you wanna add in there in different places, this, you can do that as well. So what I did was just keep going with the glue across there and placing my pieces and I'll go ahead and keep going here following that outside line to define that 
to define the different spaces as you go. And as if, if you're working and you're having questions about this, feel free to send me a message on Messenger and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. If you have suggestions, ideas, things that will improve these kits, reviews, please feel free to send them to, to me so I can continue to adapt these kits and make them better as we go. I will have some more kits, different designs coming in the, in the near future here. Just taking me some time to get them all out here. As you can see, I'm looking around to find that perfect piece, and sometimes it just takes a little while to find it. That one will do right there. So I'm going to keep working on this bear and just go ahead and complete his head. And what's going to happen after this is um, we will let it sit overnight and dry, and then um, we'll come back in and grout it tomorrow. And so I'll do another video on the grouting process so you can see what, what happens there. And yeah, there's extra glass in these cups after we finish the mountain, so you should have plenty to choose from when you're working. Okay, and I'll come back in here and you can see the finished finish glass project tomorrow and then start with the grouting. Thank you.